this hexy. All right, so we got through the first day of Leipzig, the Battle of Nations, and in the southeast, the French are doing their job. They're keeping this force at bay, and they've knocked off a few of those units that are sitting over here to the side. Yeah, you can't see them just yet, but let's turn this a little bit. All right, sitting over here to the side, and they they're not faring so well here across the river on their escape route. So we've shifted some guard units here. What one fortunate thing that could pay off for them if it can be held is this little pocket right here near Machern, that roadway across to get troops over, and they got this cav unit and this infantry unit over here. And they should get another infantry unit over here. If these guys can hold this next turn, they'll get across. And we decided to shift the units from the northeast quadrant up here because there's no coalition forces coming on for five turns that'll come in up here. So we're going to bring these forces down here because look at this massive... Prussian and Russian force down here. This is they've got to they've got to do something. They've got to stop this because these guys are starting to make ground over here. Hold that pocket. Let's get this guard unit, the young guard, across the river here, and try to mess with some of this because they need this route open right here at the end of the game, or else they're going to lose an awful lot of points because there's only one way to trace your escape, and it's it's down these two roads right here, and then off the map. So, um, I mean, they could. They could trace here and out, I guess, across the river, here, across the stream, and then this thing here on the minor river there. But, you know, this was their main escape route. So they're okay up there in the southeast. We don't know yet here on the west side of the river, the west side of the Elster River. And I think the key to it is going to be whether they can hold this off here. So through turns one to five... At the end of turns one to five, the demoralization levels were 80 and 100. And let me make sure that I got that right. Uh, 80 for the Allies and 100 for the French. Well, at the end of the first turn, the French are 47 demoralization level, and the Coalition is 37, or the Allies are 37. So nobody hit their demoralization levels. Now, for the next five game turns, up to turn 11... It goes 120 for the Allies and 110 for the French. So, if it was if it was to match, everybody would still be safe. So I don't know if that's going to happen to mortalization or not. But it's hard to get kills. You've got to you've got to get units surrounded and then force a retreat into a zone of control or where they can't go to get them eliminated. Because you don't start getting eliminated uh, results on the combat chart until you hit four to one. And then it's just you got to roll a one to get a DE. And then there's some exchanges up there. Well, you got to get a lot of units around because if you're behind water, if you're in a town hex, if you're in rough hex, if you're in wood hex, you're going to be doubled. And or marsh hex, you're going to be doubled. So it, it's hard. You can see here the French had this guy surrounded, and you can tell they got pushed away. All right, um, down here they had this guy surrounded and they got pushed away. They've been successful here. But this guy here got attacked at one to three by a Prussian unit, and the Prussian unit rolled a one and drove him back. Over here, if you're adjacent, you can't exit an enemy zone of control. So if you're adjacent to an enemy, you got to stay there and attack if it's your turn. Same for the uh, non or same for the opposing player. So he's not going to cross the river into the city here because this guy have a strength of eighteen, but. The French go first, and now that they've moved over here, they'll be able to isolate on this one unit right here and see if they can't drive him out because he'll be doubled, but they'll have, what, 27 into 18. They'll, at least they'll have a one-to-one. -one. Now, there's no elimination chances at one-to-one, -one, but you can... you'll get a retreat. So unless you get his own control block, you're not going to get eliminated. But if they can get him to retreat, they'll, he hasn't, he'll have, once they move into an attack, he'll have no zone control and then they can go to work on this other unit. However, as you can see, 
they've got more forces, two strong units coming in that left the battlefield here, crossed over here, crossed the bridge and got on that road and came over. It's taken them all this time to do it. So they started in here around this town. All right, well, so this is Napoleon War. This is Leipzig. We finished the first day. And right now the French are holding their own. They've got to clear this pocket out here to the west so they can have that escape route. Or like I say, everybody will be cut off at the end of the game and that'll be just a total wipeout. So, but let's get, I want to keep this one. I, I could have played this in two nights easily or even one sitting because it's just simple. Move, combat, move, combat. And that's how it works. So, all right. So it's actually Napoleon at war. Man, when was this thing? 1975? So let's get some more of this done. Might wait till the end to shoot, or maybe at the second end of the second day, I'll shoot a video again. Uh, let's get this posted so y'all can see what's happening in Leipzig. Talk to you soon.